Nigeria police or Nigerian police showed us sample of how Igbos suffer daily in Nigeria. Israeli filmmaker detained for 20 days. Oh yeah, the Israeli filmmakers that were detained. Um, actually, they've gone back to Israel now. So one of the three Israeli filmmakers arrested by the DSS, Rochman Rudi, has said the torture they suffered in the hands of Nigerian state police shows the suffering of Igbos in Nigeria. How did they suffer? Okay, let me see. In July, Rochman, a Zionist activist, was arrested alongside a filmmaker, Noam Liebman, and French Israeli journalist E. David Benyam by officers of the DSS on allegations that they are supporting the activities of IPOB. They were arrested at Ogidi village, the Demili North local government area of Anambra State, who are shooting a documentary titled We Were Never Lost, which explores Jewish communities in African countries such as Kenya, Madagascar, Uganda, and Nigeria. The filmmakers reportedly spent 20 days in detention without being charged to court by the Nigerian government. However, in a statement released by or on his official Instagram page on Sunday, Rudy explained that they had set out to tell the story of Igbo Jews before their unlawful arrest NEN reports. We only managed to film for two days out of the two weeks planned in Igbo land when armed militants wearing black ski masks forced us out, gun pointed to a van, stripping us of our phones and passports. We didn't see the light of day or had any form of communication with the outside world until we were released 20 days later, he wrote. Ruji also expressed the need to reset focus on Igbos who have been living in the reality of the 20 days of the ill treatment they suffered at the hands of the Nigerian police. Now that we are back, it is important to reset and focus on the Igbo Jews who have faced what we went through their whole lives and still live with that reality daily. The Jolie further disclosed that he and his team have been blocked from subsequent visits to Nigeria. Igbos under President Buhari administration have constantly complained of marginalization as well as treatment. In May, the Inspector General of Police Usmali, Usman al Kali Baba launched a special operational action plan codenamed Operation Restore Peace to curl the indigenous people of Biafra and its militant armed Eastern Security Network over the uprising in the region. The police said the IGP launched the special operation at the Michael Opera Square Enugu as part of efforts targeted at returning the southeastern region to its historical pride of place where its people are known to be peaceful, tolerant, innovative, industrious, and entrepreneurial. In the same month, a controversial tweet from Buhari threatened to deal with Igbo youths over the destruction of government facilities in the region. Again, adding to this, it just you know further deepens this whole thing of what Igbos are actually going through in the country. And I guess you know these tourists, well, now they're back and they're safe in their country, but they now have an idea. And of course, I think it's it's great content, great content for for their documentary. And of course, you know, with them going around the world looking for Jews and you know how they um how they are in their different cultures, they can also add the political aspect of how they're living, well, specifically in you know in Nigeria and um of Igbo land so yeah i mean honestly that is just really fantastic that they have experienced um i'm sure what suffering they went through or how that suffering um really translates because really and truly i think that the dss would not treat them the way they treat Igbos. I mean, maybe for them, of course, it's a new experience, so it may be just overwhelming for them to go through that. However, um, the thing is that if they were treated <laughs> like the way Igbos are treated, there'd literally be a whole clash with Israel. Like, come on. Yeah, you, you don't even, it doesn't take long for you to, you know, think about that. Like, Nigeria would be in hot soup, like, problems. So, yeah. Um, someone says, what you guys suffered was just a tip of the iceberg of this dehumanization, wickedness, and economic strangulation. Indeed, we have been obliged to endure and endure for decades. Whatever we ask for is self-determination and freedom. Join us any way that you can. Um, IPOP have destroyed Nigeria that call the Republic of Zoological Animal Kingdom. Someone says, Abba Father will soon teach them the lesson he's teaching about caring now. Hundredfolds of their terror against indigo will not kill who we are rather it will make us stronger again very true again given the history of Igbos going back to just their character and what they've been through in terms of um securing their place when it comes to slavery colonialism um the whole system of just defending their lands through wars so with, with different things that have happened throughout the course of you know 
Igbo history, which ties into African history, West African history and slavery and all that. Igbos have always been brave. I mean, Igbos are just, come on. Um, so again, this, if anything, it's made them stronger. So I think it's an inbuilt genetic thing with Igbos just, just being relentless and just being, you know, well, we're not going to take any nonsense from anybody. And I guess that's a good thing, especially in this kind of world. Uh, somebody says, go and say no more and never come back to Nigeria for illegal work. It wasn't really illegal work, but I mean, I guess it's it's a lesson. I mean, how brave are they? <laughs> wow. Like, you're literally coming into a cut. <laughs> I don't think they did their research well, because if anything, they should have been walking around with security. I know they might have wanted to basically, you know, remove attention from themselves, but it's not going to be wise for you to go to a country that you don't know that well and then just think that, you know what, let me just, <laughs> with the whole insecurity situation, you know, let me just, as a foreigner, go with myself with cameras, expensive cameras and all that and equip and film and you think that you're not going to be a target. Um, absolutely not. Okay, um, someone says respect is reciprocal for us. We are friends and American who is more than a prophet. That is why we call him another savior. We consider him our own Rasulula, if you insult him, we will insult back anybody you consider your own messenger of Allah too. If we want peace to reign in this country, we should be able to learn how to respect each other's religion and beliefs. That is true. I think it gets very unproductive when you... I understand, yes, okay. People respect people's opinions, respect people's religions, but really and truly, um, it just gets unproductive when you now have conversations with basic people that are not even like adding like it's, it's it's a different thing if you're at war with the government because of course the government is what they have the power and the chance to actually change the situation in nigeria and make laws and actually apply the laws that they pretend and claim to follow but um it's like when we now get into arguments like this on social media and respect my religion of course you should respect everyone's religion but is you can some people are just stubborn you can't convince them um and it's the internet do you know what i mean like if you met them physically they will keep quiet they will not have the same kind of passion and vim and that's just how it is so again because they're behind a screen the confidence is there for them to be disrespectful but really actually you meet them in real life they don't have the liver they don't have the, the courage to come and tell it to your face what they're actually saying on screen so when it comes to things like this i guess you know yes respect other religions but um yeah it's it's, it's a, you can how 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 can you actually meet someone face to face and actually have a conversation about what they're doing so what do you think about this and do not forget to like and subscribe